voila. Hey guys, and welcome to another video. So a couple of days ago, one of my viewers reached out, and as you know, I've been making a lot of videos about waxing recently. And this viewer actually lives here in New South Wales, the same state as me, and turns out he has a little wax business. So I was really intrigued, and he was quite happy to send me some of his product. So here we go, a little mystery uh, package has arrived in the mail a couple of days ago. Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, how about this? Wow, it's very nice, Tim. So I've just gotten some socks, some Connects Quick Links. Now this is gonna come real in handy. I'll talk about them later. A full bag of refined paraffin wax, 500 grams. And the PTFE, uh, Teflon Micro Powder. So the wax that you get from Silka it's essentially paraffin wax mixed with PTFE, but they all have their own little combination of how they make it. I've had a look at Badger Wax and some of their products online, and what I have to say is they are incredibly value for money. So I've got it on my screen here. The Silka Secret Chain Blend that I use for, that I use currently is $62, uh, whereas these guys are essentially making the almost the exact same product and here on their website, it's 20 bucks. Or you can just buy the paraffin wax for half a kilo of it for $10 and it's already refined and uh, made into like something that's easy to melt. All right, so because my crock pot has the silka wax in it, I need to find a way to get that wax out, put it in the silka bag and then put my new badger wax in. Uh, I was thinking of melting it and then pouring the hot wax in, but I think that will end in disaster. So I think I'm just gonna use a spoon and try and like hack out the old cold wax. If anyone has done this process before, can you tell me what you've done? Maybe it's like melt it a little bit so it gets off the bottom and then pour it into a bag. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a go with the spoon now. What do you think, Holly? Is it gonna work? What do you think, Wilbur? Yeah? All right, let's do it. All right, so here we go. Put all our wax in there. Let's hope this works. <laughs> oh, it's like solid in there. Maybe I better melt it. Oh. I'm not making much progress. I feel like if I can get underneath it and I can just pop, pop the whole thing up. So the spoon method was abysmal. You can see my progress here. Then hacking away at it and no nothing so i'll just put it on the heat and i'm gonna let the bottom of it just melt a little bit so i can just take the whole lot of out and put it in somewhere else so while i'm waiting for the wax to melt a little bit let's talk about these connects links so let's open one up right here there we go that's the two in there and it looks a little bit different to the shimano one i've got a shimano one right here that's a Shimano Quick Link. And I'd say, just from quick observation, probably the main difference is where the little pin goes through. You can see it's a different shape. Now, Shimano, I've looked all over their websites and everything, maybe I'm looking in the wrong places, but I cannot find anywhere that says the material that their Quick Link is made out of. Uh, but one thing they do say officially is that you can, you're not meant to reuse it. So, that's where this Connects one by Whipperman comes in. This one here is a Connects link made from steel and reusable. Uh, and that's perfect for people who wax their chains because you're gonna be taking your chain on and off every, probably every week or two. So you need something that's reusable, otherwise you'd be throwing away your Shimano ones. And I will say the Shimano one, after I've been using it for a couple of months, has become a bit loose. Um, definitely is a lot easier to pull on and off, which is not a good sign because one day you're gonna be putting some power through your chain and the last thing you want is for it to fly off, that'd be catastrophic. So, that's the Connects ones. Badger Wax, go check out their website. They're the official distributor for the Connects uh, Whipman link here in Australia. Uh, and they got a lot of really other cool things on their site. So, um, they've sent me two, which is that sets me up absolutely perfectly since I'm running two chains. All right, it worked. Thank God it works, look at this. 
All right, so it's melted a little bit on the bottom and I can just flip this whole thing up now. So what I'm gonna do is, since this is nice and hard, I'm gonna put this in the back in the silica chain bag. So. No, leave it. Forbidden cake. Forbidden urinal cake. Go in. Yes. She's in. All right. That worked perfectly. Look at this. There's like not even any residue left in here. It's like completely clean. It just popped out. Woo. All right, let's go weigh out our badger wax. All right, growing up, I watched a lot of MasterChef. It was one of my favorite shows, the one with the really bad American dubbing. But as every good chef knows, there's a few things that make a good dish. Number one, quality ingredients. Voila. Number two, proper cooking utensils. Pot, stainless steel spoon. And number three, and the most important, your service has been temporarily disconnected. The correct ratios between your ingredients. That's why I've got our trusty kitchen scale here. All right, quick math. 463 grams per 50 grams of PTFE. If we do 250 grams, 26.99 grams of PTFE. So let's do the wax first. All right, on the scale it goes. We zeroed it. We're opening up the badger wax. Every good chef goes for a sniff test. Mmm, delicious. Look at that. Beautiful white. That's what you want to see though, like a snow texture. That's how you know it's been refined because it's not big lumpy chunks in it. It's nice and smooth and it'll melt easily. All right, let's go. 250 grams. That's 20. That's 40. That's 50. That's 100. 150. I think we only need to do 150. We filled up the bottom quite well. There we go. I think that's sufficient actually. 150 grams on the nose. We're gonna have to redo our math. All right, 50 grams divided by 463 equals 0 0.107. Multiply that by 150 grams, 16.2. We're gonna hit the zero again. We're opening up our PTFE. Let's have a look at it. It should be like a black, darker color, I think. I've never looked at this stuff before. No, it looks like Colombian marching powder. All right, now I'm a bit nervous about this. I'm not gonna sniff this one. I don't wanna get it in my lungs, but let's go. One gram, two gram, three gram, four gram, five gram, six gram, seven gram, eight gram, nine grams, 11, 12, 15, 16. A little bit more for good measure. There we go. What a concoction. Only didn't have thing left to do now is to cook it. So I'm gonna go chuck it on the heat. We're gonna like let it simmer a bit and then, let, and then once it's, actually, you know what? I'm gonna start mixing it now. I wanna kiss it! Mm, 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 mm. All right, so the wax has been on the heat now for about 15, 20, 30 minutes. Here you go, it's all melted. Very good practice to cook your wax next to your Wi-Fi router. Here we go, look at that. It's a much more milky, almost semi-clear. That actually is a bit different to what I expected. I was expecting something more like the silker one, which was kind of almost gray black. Uh, but yeah, that looks really good. And I'm quite keen to chuck a chain in there. Look, I don't want to give away too much because this is going to be content for a future video. But if you watched my last one, you would have seen that I'm not riding my usual bike. 
And that is the reason why I haven't been able to test this wax yet because I don't have my usual bike, I don't have my chains and all that. Uh, so I haven't been able to actually use my own stuff yet. Um, but like I thought I might as well just make this video, put out the word there that there's uh, just some other products you can try. And who would have thought waxing was a really pretty good value, but you can make it even more cheap. So I'm gonna flash up their website now and just a quick scroll through. And off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure the paraffin wax they put out. All right, so I just had a quick check on the computer there. You can get the PTFE plus paraffin wax, half a kilo for $19. So that is like a fraction of the price of some of the other brands out there. Uh, and I'm hopefully when I get my bike back, I can give it a go and I can give you some proper feedback. But I don't wanna do give you feedback without having to try it for at least like a thousand or 2000 kilometers because I need to get a proper feel for it and also uh, anything else like that. But from what I've seen so far, there's like no issues to it and let's be real, there's a lot of people out there just riding on just paraffin wax with no additive. So even then, this is a pretty good value proposition. So let's see how we go. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.